Wow, you are so handsome. Hello, all you wonderful people. I am Budokan, and welcome back to our No Man's Sky Let's Play Adventure. This is uh, episode two of season one. And right now, uh, this is where we left off. We were here at these uh, container type things. I forgot what they're called. Manufacturing facilities. And this is all titanium. I don't think we need any more titanium, though. That's the thing. Yeah, see, we already have... Uh, see, I don't know. I don't know. See, right now, it's so cold on this planet that... You know what? We'll grab a little bit. We'll grab a little bit of it. But I have a feeling that uh, the Sentinels are going to come and attack us in a second. Oh, we're only getting 20 apiece. Yep, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Get out of here. Get. Get. So, in this video, what I would like to do is explore this planet for a little for a little bit longer. Um, and, yeah, I'm not quite sure if uh, we are going to go and check out another one. Because uh, I, I don't think we've left our first planet, have we? Holy crap, dude. Come on now. Come on now. Go. Go. Where's my ship? Go. All right, yeah. So I, if I remember correctly, we, we, we put our ship uh, together. We repaired it and everything. But I do not think that, uh, yeah, I don't think that we left the planet. I'm pretty sure we've scanned all of these life forms. We sure have. And if I remember correctly, uh, these guys are not nice. I might be wrong though. Oh, maybe. Oh, they are nice. Okay. I'll feed you, buddy. Hi, little buddy, buddy. Oh my gosh. You're like a praying mantis with bunny ears. You're so freaking cute. Oh, look at your cute little eyes. You're so fancy. Well, now, look like he had, or she had eyeliner on. We're going to say it's a she. But we didn't analyze this yet. Um, and uh, as far as like suggestions go, I only got one person who gave me a suggestion for uh, a name. So we will be sure to do that today. Ooh, this is actually pretty rare. You know what? Let's make sure we have slots. We do. Okay. This stuff is not easy to find. This chrysonite. We are gonna we're gonna grab a few of this. For sure. And apparently it looks like my pet found something. Did, is, there was a magnifying glass that popped up. And it's gone now. Did you hide it? Did you find something and then hide it? I'll follow you for a second. Oh, what do you have for me? What do you have for me, little princess? I don't see anything. I don't see... I don't see anything. What are you trying to show me? There's nothing there. I'm sorry, but I can't give you treats for just pointing at the ground. I'm sorry. Forgive me, cute little thing. Let's go... Uh, yeah, let's go find something else. Let's go ahead and scan our area. Aha! Something right over there. It's super close, too. All right, we're going to head over here. We're going to find out what this is. We'll go explore a little bit more in this general area. And then, yeah, we're going to go to our first planet. Well, I guess technically this is our first planet, but we we crash landed here. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to go explore our first planet. Go out into space. Whoa! Where did I land? Oh, man. I almost fell into this big hole. Ooh, that looks pretty cool, though. All right, we'll go there next. We're going to go there next. But first, we're going to check out what this question mark is. Then we'll go down in that big, cool hole. Another manufacturing facility. Hmm. Very interesting. What's over here? Titanium? I don't need titanium. All right, so we have discovered another waypoint. So uh, in a second here, we're going to go ahead and name uh, uh, the only suggestion we got was from somebody who commented by the name of Mateos. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So Mateos uh, wanted uh, to name something um, their last name. Uh, and the last name uh, is a pretty long one. So forgive me if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. What I'll do is I'll just type it in first, let you guys see what it is. And then from there, uh, uh, I'll do my best to pronounce it. All right, so you know what? I think we're at full health. I don't think we... Yeah, we don't. We didn't really need to do that. That's fine though. Um, all right, let's drop down here. Thermal protection falling. That's not good. All right, let's charge up with our titanium we just got. Charge up our life. Oh, something's attacking us. Ah, you booger! 
Did I scan you yet, you little booger? Pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I scanned you as you were attacking me in that last episode. Oh, oh, wow. He is really gnarly. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. No. Oh, crap, dude. He is really, really gnarly. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No. You get back here. You almost killed me. I do not want to risk you killing me again. Did I get him? I got him. God, what a jerk. That was unbelievable, man. You know what? But we're going to name um, Mateos' last name uh, from uh, after one of our cute little creatures. Maybe after the cute little praying mantis. There's the jerk face. We're just going to name him Jerk. Oh, how about Jerky? Jerky. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty. I can't believe I didn't scan that cute little praying mantis one. We're going to do this one after uh, Ma Mateos' last name. And then we'll do the other, I think it's like the male and female versions. You know, so we'll name each one uh, after his, uh, we'll name each one after their last name. Why can't I, um, it won't let me do it. That's really strange. So it looks like it's uh, Pese Goginski. Pesigoginski? Pes <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, please forgive me if I'm mispronouncing it. But there you go. That goes out to Mateos. Uh, awesome. Awesome last name. And what a great suggestion. Thank you very much for suggesting for suggesting a name for me to name something. I don't, why am I saying name so much? Anyway, let's get back to our ship. There's not much in here. This is kind of gnarly looking, but I think we already scanned that. Yeah, we did. All right, we're going to arrive at this next spot very quickly. And maybe after this one, uh, we'll, we'll blast off in space, check out and see what's around us. Because uh, we can always come back to this planet, um, especially if we stay within the star system for a while. Ooh, this is like a, a shelter, looks like. Okay. Did we scan this? We did not. Hooray. Yes, guys, and if you want me to name something in this Let's Play Adventure series after you, or uh, or if you want to give a suggestion of a name, please do so, and please specify what you want me to name. You want me to name a creature, a specific creature, a rock, a plant, specific rock or plant. You know, just let me know. Um, and, uh, yeah, maybe, like, if you want, even, you can pause the video where the, the name pops up, like, after you analyze it, and then you can just tell me there. Uh, we're going to grab a little bit more plutonium, though. Uh, the inventory's full, so all of that went to waste. Oh, I hate when that happens. We need to find a place to sell all this crap. Is there anything we can get rid of? Uh, let's get rid of this iron really quick. Because there's always some valuable goods. Oh, oh, right when I say it. There's always valuable goods. Nothing found. Oh, what a jerk. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Oh, you know what? Our shields are down, and this will actually get our shield back up. So let's activate this exosuit. Oh, that just um, raises the temperature of our suit. That's right. Hi, jerk sentinel. <laughs> right now, in real life, my cat is at my feet, just wanting to get into my lap so badly. All right. Uh, reload accelerant sigma. Ooh, we could actually do that now if we wanted. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Because we, I'm so sick of how slow it takes. Nice. Very, very good. And this will get our first aid up. Health levels rise. Very cool. So now we have four health levels. Awesome. Let's do this, guys. Let's go out into space. Come on. When can I activate it? All right, so it looks like there's uh, some uh, sh uh, f ship freighters, some freighters up there. And uh, you can always attack those and get the cargo inside, but you will be attacked by other uh, sentinels. So we have not discovered this, obviously, because this is the planet we were just on. Look how big it is. It is so big. Look at what? This planet was discovered by another person. What? 
That has never happened to me yet. Since it's come out, I have put in so many hours in this game, and I have yet to run into a single person. But somehow, during our Let's Play adventure, somebody found this planet and came to it. That is insane. Wow. All right, bro. Well, you know what? I'm going to discover this other planet before you, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's undiscovered. Well, let's go here before that dude does. All right, guys, we're almost here. We're almost here. We're about to burn through that atmosphere. Burn it up. Whoa, pull up, pull up, pull up. I mean, I know it does it automatically, but still pull up. Ooh, look how pretty it looks already. We got some water. It almost looks like a volcano, but I don't think it is. Oh, wow, man. This looks pretty barren, if you ask me. Uh, maybe not, though, because of all this water. There might be a lot of life in there. A lot of different plants. Hmm, where should we land? Let's scan really quick. You know what? Let's go immediately to this question mark. And let's see what it has to offer us. Be there right now. Oh, it uh, looks like a monolith. Guys, it's our first monolith of our Let's Play series. And it looks like there's some gold over there, too. So we're going to go check that out. All right, that was Emerald. All right, so moderate, passive, deficient, and not present as far as the floor goes. All right, you know what? Really quick, let's freaking name this planet before uh, whatever that dude's name was. Fat Pudgy Pimp or Plump. Okay. All right, well, let's do this before he does. All right, so let's rename. Let's rename this one. Um, we're just going to name it Budacat. Budacat, let's just name it like numbers, like Budacat 101 or something. There we go. Yeah, Budacat 101. Boom. And you know what? We're about to take the freaking galaxy from him, too. Patriot Galaxy. There you go. There you go, guys. We did it before. Fab Pudgy Plump. <laughs> Hooray for us. Woo. Nice little spin. All right. So it says the imprint of an ancient civilization was once absorbed by this strange marker. The story of the Viking somehow spills out in the language of my own people. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of the Herc commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment, the belief of the ancients. So we can seek help with language and learn the language of the Viking maybe? Let's see, yeah, knowledge of the Viking increases. And I learned the Viking word for detection. Very cool. All right, before we get back on our ship, let's scan a few things. Awesome, man. I, 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 I'm sorry, man, but I'm still like completely shocked that uh, somebody discovered a planet before me. I mean, I didn't think that was going to happen a, a single time. My entire time playing this game. You know, that's just so cool. What about that? Can I scan that? It might be too far away. Let's see. Ah, nice. Very, very cool. All right, let's hop in our ship. This doesn't look like there's much around here. There's a sentinel. There's always sentinels. However, let's stop here really quick. Let's mine this this stuff up. And don't worry if it takes too long, I will do my fancy little editing magic so you guys don't get bored. All right, guys. So I got the rest of this gold. It went pretty far down. It's like a, I mean, not like super far. Um, but yeah, uh, we let's see how much we got. Oh, we got almost a full stack. Nice. That'll be some good money. That's about 40,000 units right there. Depending on what uh, the galactic uh, stock is at, the galactic average. Well, let's blast off again. Uh, ship's thrusters at 25. Whoa, what are you doing? I hate when that happens. I hate when the ship just kind of goes off into space for no reason. Whoa, put on the brakes. We just found a giant waypoint, and I think that is iridium. It looks a little too blue to be iridium, though. What is that? All right, let's plop down here. Plop. And then we're going to go like this, and it's going to send us all the way out into space really quick. Wow. Nice bird eye view there. Bird's eye view. Let's get back to uh, cat view. 
Oh, there's a shelter over there. All right, then let's check that out next, I suppose. And my ship is over here. I'm not going to worry about getting the gold at this moment, but we do need to start focusing on getting some money soon. Oh, come on, Journey Milestone. I, I love these Journey Milestones, but they're up for too long. You should have the option of getting it off your screen because, come on, man. Seriously, the whole cinematic thing is cool, like, the first maybe three times. And after that, you're just like, dude, come on. I was in the middle of getting into my ship. So let's go to the shelter first. Then, after the shelter... Uh, if there's if there's something like immediately near us, we'll check it out. Otherwise, let's just go straight to the next star system. Cause I'm really really excited to go uh, check out the next star system. Okay, 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 almost there. And oh, nice! Oh, please tell me they have a freaking galactic trader here. Oh, I hope so. And a turn. Oh man, like a glove like our glove okay save Man, we are just discovering this crap left and right this is awesome uh, and I know I know homeboy fat pudgy uh, plumpy guy he's around somewhere or was around still man just blows my mind and yes they do have a galactic trader hello there friend how are you? What a handsome devil you are. You know what? Uh, let me sell my crap first and then I will talk to you. All right, so let's sell our items. And we've got the gra gra. We've got our gold. We got a convergence cube. And All right, let's check our ship inventory. We just broke a hundred thousand. All right, so we've got the Gek charms. We've got um, three Gragras. We have a fascination bead. And check this out—we got a foundation trophy, and we are almost at two hundred thousand units already. We can get a ship maybe in the next episode. How exciting would that be? All right, so we're done um, for now. Hello there, sir. End scene, Humac. And seen Humac, how are you? Wow, you are so handsome. All right, so the only the only word we can interpret from him is interloper, which I don't know why the Viking always call the humans interlopers, but yeah, you know, whatever. The warrior's nostrils flare as I approach. It inhales deeply and barks out what could be a warning. I hurriedly mime that I am peaceful. I know little of its kind or language, so I give him the peace sign, basically. It takes a second to think, then suddenly grabs my multi-tool while barking again into my visor, streaking it with saliva. It's pointing at the indicator that shows which elements I carry. I do my best to keep calm. So I could give... Uh, let's give him the heridium. Yes, yes, the warrior grunts. It teaches me some of the language of its people. The Viking word for warp. Awesome. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. All right, what else do you have? Nice, some multi-tool tech. Range boost Sigma. Store shield, it was already at max. Did the door just... I'm so confused. I thought I just heard the door open. Oh, it was that, I think. <gasps> Guys, a new multi-tool. Look at this thing. Get off my screen. God. Drives me crazy. Oh, my gosh. Get off my screen, dude. So, we have a strange tal Taluku. Strange Taluku Milple. Milple. Mipple. So we can buy this for 64,000 units. Should we do it? Yes, I think we should. That has 10 slots. Ours only has seven. Uh, yeah, let's do it for sure. Do we need to transfer anything? I don't think we can if we wanted to. All right. And accept. Check it out, guys. Our new multi-tool. Oh, man. That is so cool looking. All right, but we do need to install uh, analysis visor. 
and it has freaking grenades with grenades we can mine okay oh no freaking way oh snap dragons guys oh no freaking way oh snap dragons guys. guys you know what this little pot thingy is oh guys I am so happy right now. Oh, man, guys, we are getting so lucky. Maybe we shouldn't leave this planet right now. Oh, no way. Check it out, guys. Suit upgrade. That's right. We get a new slot in our exosuit. Oh, that's so great. We could accept the first one. It doesn't cost anything. But eventually, when you're, like, on slot 50 or something, it's, like, an unbelievable amount of money. Uh, it gets really, really expensive, like close to uh, a million units just for for that. But you know what? That's totally fine. It's totally worth it because then you don't run out of space with you when you're mining and, and getting stuff. All right, let's scan this. Did we scan that groovy rock? We did. Oh, we need a plutonium, right? So let's get uh, our mining beam out with a brand new multi tool. Oh yeah. All right, let's hop in. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. A little bit of plutonium, and we could transfer it. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, yeah, we need plutonium bad. Let's go find some plutonium, guys. Did we go there yet? That does not look familiar. I don't believe we've been here. Why didn't a question mark pop up for this one? Why am I doing like this fancy slow motion? There must be something special that way. Because there are lots of starships. Oh, wow. That's why it took so long because I landed right next to this thing. So it doesn't matter if my ship was like on the other side of the world. If I went here and gave it a bypass chip, it would call my ship to me, which is really cool. All right, guys, we're going to be uh, wrapping this up just about now. Uh, we are really, really cutting it close here. All right, very, very cool. Um, let's check this. Um, we don't have our Atlas Pass here, but I do have a video on how to get the Atlas Pass if you don't know how to do it. Okay, cool. Lots and lots of plutonium. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, Booty Camp, for another No Man's Sky Let's Play adventure. I really, really hope you like this series because I certainly do. Uh, and, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for this series, you guys want to see me do some role-playing in this series, you guys want to see me do something, uh, mine in caves, uh, try to make, like, a little cave home. I mean, whatever. You know, give me some suggestions. And don't forget, oh, come on, man. Leave me alone. Leave, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap up my let's play here. All right, guys, so the Sentinel's forces have been deactivated. Sorry about that. But, uh, oh, no, now my life support's offline. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, if you guys like this video and you like this series, please do me a favor and give me a big old fat thumbs up. I can't even talk right now. Because you know it means the world to me anyway. While you're at it, if you have not already, be a part of the fun and the community by pawing that subscribe button and becoming an official Patreon. Until next time, I am Boudicat, and I will see you all later. Goodbye, and hello there, sir. But goodbye to you, Patreon. Hey guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me, Booty Cat, for this video. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you like this video and you want to see some more of this video, please do me a favor and give me a big old bad thumbs up because you know it means the world to me anyway. And while you're at it, if you have not already, be a part of the fun in the community by hitting that subscribe button and become an official Patriot. Until next time, I am Booty Cat, and I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys.